I'm just going to tell you a little bit about GB Studio and then we're going to hop right in. So you can create ROM files that you can actually play on your Game Boy. You can also build for the web. So you can upload to websites like um, Itch. You can't export to Android or iOS. So when you first open up the project, there's two ways that you can start. You can either start in a blank project or a sample project. I'm going to start the sample project and run around um, just to show you um, how the engine works. So the user interface is pretty darn simple. You can right click to move the camera around. I'm actually too far zoomed out. If you hit control plus or use this up here, you can zoom around and then you can right click to move this around. If you right click on one of these, which is called a scene, you cannot scroll around. Just a quick tip. So these are called scenes and a scene, um, think of it kind of like a, a screen. It's, it's what's on the screen. And as you notice, there's two sizes here, which is a small one and a big one. The small one is the minimum size, and this is the size that um, the Game Boy screen is. And then if your scene is larger than that, that means the camera will follow the player around. So the controls are Z and X, and arrow keys, enter and shift. So I'm just gonna start a new game here. And as you can see, the camera is following my character around. All right, let's start a, um, a new project. So there's really only three things you can do. So you can add an actor, a trigger, or a scene. So let's add our first scene. This little arrow in the center, that's what our player will be. If I hit the run button, by default, it makes your player an arrow. But don't worry, we'll look. I'll show you how to fix all that. So um, the next thing I want to show you is actors. Actors by default get a collider underneath them. So if I hit the play button now, if I walk into this, I, ca I can't walk through it as you can see. Actors have a collider by default. And also by default, if you press um, Z, you can interact with colliders but there's no with actors but there's no logic on it as of right now so a trigger a trigger is invisible and it's something that will activate an event you can drag the left mouse button to decide how big your trigger is let's say I make it this big I'm in my trigger right here and I'm gonna name this shock and I'm gonna add an emote to my player and I'm gonna add the shock emote now if I hit play, when the character enters uh, this trigger, remember triggers are invisible, bam, my character was shot. So you can do all sorts of stuff with triggers. You can do all sorts of things with actors. I can do the same thing with an actor. I can make um, the actor play an emote on my player and let's make it a question. Now if I press Z to interact, with the actor, you can see it runs the it runs the script. The eraser tool basically removes things, and the brick tool uh, creates uh, colliders. This is what you'll draw on top of your background, and it'll decide um, what your player can walk through or not. So as you can see, I'm stuck in that little box that I drew now. All right, let's get some cool sprites in here. I'll show you how in the next video.